how to fill an image with a pattern to create a mandala coloring book. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP Low Content Books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So before I start, I thought I'd show you some examples of mandala animal coloring books that is on Amazon. Yes, the competition is quite tough. You'd have to niche down, cross niche, do all sorts of different things. But the selling of them is fantastic, like this one here, 100 animal coloring book from Jade Summers. Uh, another one here, price very low. I don't even know how they're making that um, go but the bsr results are really quite good and in fact there's one here for 828 so we will have a look at this so there's 108 pages and it is 554 and 828 so if we type we're going to i'm on tkpublishing.com i'll leave a link in the description for the calculator and it's 828 calculate so it's selling to 2510 books a month so if we go here and we change just have a look at this and here i'm using um ds quick view so 108 pages and it's 554 108 pages 554 calculate so one dollar 17 so we go back here get my calculator up $1.17 times by 2,510. So this book on its own is making $2,936. Now you've got to bear in mind that we don't know what this person is doing with regards to their advertising. They will be doing paid advertising, Pinterest, or they're in colouring book groups. But the possibilities are there for you to be getting that sort of money with these types of books. Yes, the competition is very stiff, but if you know what you're doing with marketing, you can actually get yourself in there and start making that sort of money. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I had a comment from Oziyama Marathi, and I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong, and they said, hi, can I add facial features? I want the animal figure to have eye and a nose. So I thought you would need to add them in or have images that have transparency inside the animal. So I've said, I will create a video for it. Now, the thing is you cannot do this in PowerPoint. You need to have your images already with a transparent background in them. Now there are some PLR artists out there like Maureen from Color Me Positive that actually do provide transparent images in the fact that they've got a transparent inside and a white background so they're perfect for coloring books but if you're getting your own images from uh, Vectezy or Pixabay or Creative Fabrica you need to do that yourself but the good news is you can do it all in Photopea which is free so what we're going to do is I'm going to pop over and actually show you what my plan was so I went over to Photopea and I actually created this elephant here with the eyes as you can see there and in fact if i zoom up you'll be able to see that the eyes are clearly there for people to see and i wanted the tasks not to have a pattern in them and there were certain things that i didn't want to have a pattern in like uh, the toenails of the um, elephant tooth so i also did another one here which is this one here where I actually filled in the eyes with black and then left again the tusks and I used a pattern. So where did I get these images? Well, I had a look here on uh, Pixabay for some uh, mandalas. And obviously there are sites where you can actually create your own mandalas. Again, I'll do a video on that, showing you those. And then I went to Vectezy and looked for all the free images. Now, if you are using free images from Vectezy and you do not have a pro account, you need to give attribution. And with anything, any images you use from anywhere, whether it's Creative Fabric or, or any place like that, you need to check the licenses. I know that Canvas changed their license to be more favorable to people in the KDP and principal community, but you need to check this. 
these sorts of things. So again, Creative Fabrica, you can go in and you can search for patterns, mandalas, and they even do like uh, send tangled um, or mandala coloring things, animals. So if we do this here, this will be a, a wolf one, but there's loads of animals there and that's the sort of thing. So if you don't want to be creating them yourself, if you go to Creator Fabrica, they have got a load of these in the colouring in space. So let me just do mandala. Yeah, I'll spell it. I'll just put that there. And if you put animals as well. So you'll be able to see colouring pages for adults. So there's all these here already that is done for you. So you can check them out. And if you've got a Creator Fabrica account, this is great. If you haven't, there's a link down in the description to check that out. So once I decided what I was going to do, I'm going to start a brand new thing. So Photopea is free. It's online. You just type photopea.com. Again, the link will be down in the description. And yes, you can pay to have the ads removed, but they don't really get in the way. And you might think, oh, but it looks like Photoshop and I don't want to do Photoshop because it's quite difficult. The thing is, there's only some basic tools that you need to know. Once you know those basic tools, you can do all sorts of things. Yes, there's loads of things you can do in Photopea and Photoshop, but you only need a few tools to get what we want to do. So let's go, let's create a new one. So file and new, and I'm gonna create a new project and I'm gonna change it so that it is US letter size, which is eight and a half by 11. I've also made sure that the DPI is 300. Now you can take that up as high as you want. So, you know, you could do probably 600 or, but at least make sure it's 300 and usually, I've also got it on print here. It starts out at social and so make sure you're on print and it's usually white so you can have a white background if you want. In fact, we might keep it as a white background. But if we do a transparent background, I can actually see what I'm doing. And then US letter size, make sure I've got my DPI. I'm going to keep it at 300 and then I'm going to create my board so this is the board that I'm going to work on and then if you've got your images that you've downloaded I'm going to go and open my image that I want so I'm actually going to use the um, JPEG for this so let me just give it bit to download and I want the elephants there so I wanted that one. And the reason why I wanted all of these is so that I could do a selection. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to show you what you need. So if you get the lasso tool, which is this here, and select that and just draw around what bits, what elephant. In fact, I'm going to start again. And to remove that, I did Command D or Control D. And again, the reason why Photop is great is because you can use it with any software. So now that is selected and I know it's selected because I'll zoom in, it has got the running ants there. So I'm gonna go Command C or Control C and I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna take it to my new empty board. And I'm just gonna Command V or Control V to paste. And obviously you could right click and paste or you could do edit and paste. So there's always more than one way to go about doing that. So I'm just gonna unlock the image by clicking on the little lock that is there. Now the next tool that I want is the magic wand tool because I want to get rid of the inside. I don't want to I want to keep the tasks white and I want to keep the toes white. So if I get the magic tool, magic tool, magic wand, it's on here. Tolerance is 16. Now tolerance is where you can change it to take more or less of what you want to get hold of. So I'm going to stick the magic wand tool in there and it seems to have selected all that top part. Now I know if I press delete, it'll give me the transparency. So I know and that's the reason why I wanted the background transparent so I could actually see what is happening there. So the aim is to get the background transparent of the animal, but the actual board or the page white, and I'll show you why. So let's carry on with this. I've selected 
Well, it's took one of my toes. So I'll come back to that one. Delete. Oh, I don't think it has on there this time. Oh, it does. So this is where I'm going to reduce the tolerance down. I'm going to take it down to 10. And try again. But I might just go in and fill that up. So, yeah. Two. Mm. Click in there. Two. Right, that's got it now. So now I've got what I want and just that little back leg there so I've kept the tusks white and I've kept the toes white so I'm I'm really happy with that okay what I want to do now is I want to make sure that all this background is white so I'm going to use the magic tool I'm going to select that background I'm going to use the bucket tool if you cannot find the bucket tool click on the little drop down here and it's usually the gradient tool that is shown first so if it's not there and it's showing that little rectangle that's going gradient then click on the little drop down and then choose the bucket tool and then I'm going to just click fill and it's filled all the white area so I'm going to click command D to get rid of the running ants that's round there so there's a little bit down here that I want to get rid of so I'm going to get the a rubber tool which is here or the eraser tool so just click there and then I'm going to just do that but it's going to leave some white bits some transparent bits so I need to fill them in if I zoom in you can actually see what I mean so I'm going to go back to the paint bucket tool and fill that all in but the paintbrush will probably be better so I can just make sure that everything is filled in so now we've got our nice elephant and it is all filled in exactly how I wanted it. So there's two things that we can actually do now. What you could do is if you want to stick with PowerPoint is you can export it as a PNG. And the reason why you need to export it as a PNG is because it will actually keep this transparency bit here. Or what you can do is we can do the work in here. So what I'm going to do is I'll do both. So I'm going to export it as a PNG and then I'll show you putting the pattern on the current image and then we'll I'll show you putting the pattern on in PowerPoint. So file, export as a PNG. I want it at the highest quality which and it's the right height and I know that because and it's also at 300 dpi because it's at 3300 and I know that for a fact so I'm going to export that and as you can see I've been exporting and you can see that there's still some white bits there but that doesn't really matter so I've saved it as a new project how do we put a pattern on here simple you go file and you open and place and I've got a pattern that I want to use which is here and as you can see it has already gone inside of our elephant that we wanted but the image doesn't look so as you can see the image has actually gone inside well it's not actually gone inside it is just below the image there Okay, that is that picture done but what we can do is we can actually define the head more maybe put the um, ears more defined and the way you do that is you actually can paint on the image so I've clicked the background and I'm just going to remove that so we can actually see what we're doing all I did was take the eye off so I didn't delete it I just took the eye off I'm going to zoom in so it's command plus or control plus and then it allowed me to zoom in and then I'm just going to take the paintbrush tool making sure that it's black and try and get a decent enough size now my drawing skills with a mouse on is not very good i've done with my pen tool connected
Okay, let's try that. Let's put that back in. It looks a lot better, more defined. So I might actually do these as well. In fact, I'm going to draw around the eyes and put a white bit in there. They stand out. I'm just going to get the paintbrush. I'm going to change the colour to white. And I'm actually going to paint white round here. Round the eye. So that stands out. Okay. Whoops. And then let's try that. So that stands out a lot better. It looks quite frightening, but it does stand out. So that's how you can do it with that. And then all you would do is you would export that. And again, you could export it as a PNG or you could export it as a PDF and then add all your PDF files together. So we actually exported one as a PNG. So, so what we'll do is we'll go into PowerPoint and then from PowerPoint, I'll just make this bigger so you can actually see it. Get rid of all of this. We'll get rid of the guides because some of you say you can't see with them. So I'm going to go design, the slide, page setup, eight and a half by 11. I'm not using any bleed, scale up because I've got nothing there. So that's fine. And then I'm going to insert picture from file. And then I want the one that I did earlier. Download, new project, insert, and that's that one there. And what I want is that pattern now. Insert, picture from file. We'll use this one. Insert, and I need to change my layers so what I can do is I can just send it backwards and it's gone inside my elephant there. If you found this video helpful please hit the like button and don't forget to hit the little B above my head to subscribe to the channel to be notified about any other videos I make. Also don't forget to check out my removing colour in PowerPoint and don't forget about my video about masking in PowerPoint.